Hello everyone. This is uh, my uh, second uh, 3D print job. I'm doing uh, two interlocking uh, squares and uh, it's quite incredible. It's building the first square and the little dots on the side are the support structure. That is the support structure for the second square which will be built up in mid-air. So everything is uh, done by the slicer from the 3D model. And uh, I'll come back again a little bit later. This whole, this whole print job is going to take about uh, just over an hour. And there's about 59 minutes left. Here you can see the extruder. It's working uh, fine. I had a problem the other day. The extruder jammed up because the fan had stopped working. I had put a bit of cardboard there to direct the airflow, but the cardboard got caught in the pan and it stopped it working, but now it's working fine. So that caused the problem, I had to go and uh, clean out the nozzles. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this uh, printer. This is the, this is the main uh, control motherboard. You can see the lights blinking and that's the power supply at the back. Now a lot of people have uh, installed the extruders a different way but I try to make the line from the extruder to the actual nozzle as short as possible. So I have allowed for enough movement of the whole bed and that's the length and then I've got the pool of filament on the top so it's not pulling the filament from a, a lower level it just it's a natural flow of filament which makes it much easier and uh, that's about it I'll come back a little later and see how this print has uh, progressed This is quite uh, amazing how this uh, job is taking shape. Well, it has been going for just about an hour now and the first uh, cube is uh, finished and now it's working on the second cube and you see how it's taking shape. It's quite amazing how the slicer has uh, built in that uh, 
support structure. Okay. And this is it. It's about to finish now. Three seconds more. That's it.